so we're either back from break or this is the beginning. The beginning I think this is the beginning. This might be the beginning yeah, of yeah. episode twelve, yeah. depending on how long this goes. We already <laughs> recorded a, did it. a first half. Stav was late, so me and Adam I did. Wasn't that late, bitch? It was pretty boring. Begin. Yeah, it was boring. What time do you have to leave, Stav? We got time because I told the guy I can leave. I'll be there like half, halfway into the show, so we could do a full one if you want. All right, yeah, let's go. Let's do that. Yeah, All right. we're just doing a full one. Leave out that way. The riffs we had on the first one. Like uh-huh. all that, uh, all that stuff about the yeah, the, the N word. Yeah. yeah, we're just gonna bring that back. <laughs> yeah, just bring back all the N word yeah, stuff. It'll be fresh to me. Um, Stav fucking Stav was late, and uh, we were joking that he was at a <laughs> at a hot, hot dog, dog eating, eating contest, contest, and yeah. that's why he was wow, late. Wow, we're really jinxing a but, lot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he. Uh, I got a buffalo he, chicken. Sub, that's bitch. why he's late. It's because you went and got, got a fucking a sandwich. sandwich. I'm, first of all, I'm ten minutes late. Do you know what I mean? He's not that late. You're pretty. I told you I'd be late, here at six thirty. We did a thirty-five minute. There's no way. The no, man. we did. We actually did thirty-five minutes already. Okay. Well, yeah. you guys are just hanging out without early. me. Yeah. You know what? How about this? This is the beginning. And then and when we finish this, I'll just tack on that first half at the end in case people want to listen to it. Okay. There you go. Yeah. That's better. Whatever, yeah. So we'll repeat all the things we said. Because <laughs> if that then, first What were you guys talking about? Let me know. I, I talked know. about how <laughs> my dad nothing. got depressed after he saw Avatar because he didn't live in the Avatar world. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, dude. there's actually some good stuff in that first half. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, fuck. Now we already nixed it. Well, no. Stay, stick around, guys, for the bonus features. I think that if the first half goes at the beginning... People won't be listening by this point. Yeah, that's true. So I think this is the first half. This is the first half. Um, and then <laughs> we're going to... You know what? We're getting rid of it. We're sticking with the plan. <laughs> we're getting rid of the first half. This is the whole show. You're not going to hear... I, we had Hell some yeah. good stuff with that N-word that 30, thing. Yeah, the maybe N-word it comes thing up was again. good. Maybe it comes up again, you know? Yeah, maybe I'm it does. I'm sure the N-word is going to come up again a couple times. Podcast. I got a couple riffs. There's yeah. only a couple of things to talk about, folks. <laughs> the N-word... Uh, I have some pretty funny news. I, what happened? Uh, well, just like F- Cumbtown news, I was uh, in D.C. this weekend, and I talked to a friend of mine who uh, uh, is a nanny for uh-huh. a retarded Chinese boy. Hell and yeah, dude. <laughs> he listens to Cumbtown. <laughs> we have a retarded Chinese baby that listens to Cumbtown every week. Somebody, <laughs> somebody, somebody oh, mentioned that's so beautiful. <laughs> that's the most beautiful thing I've ever somebody heard. Somebody mentioned having like a Chinese nanny recently, and like my the first place my head went was like, uh, oh, uh, Mister Sheffield. No, I was about <laughs> Mister Sheffield. Please, no, Mister Sheffield. <laughs> Mister Sheffield. <laughs> uh, she's a freshy girl from Freshy. <laughs> the nanny named Flan. <laughs> uh, Mister Sheffield. Mister Sheffield, please. I need more money to buy milk. <laughs> Mr. Sheffield. The milk came for you, Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> God damn it, friend. Would you stop shuffling your feet It's the same British guy. Yeah, it's the same British guy. <laughs> Mr. Sheffield. What about yeah. the gay butler, though? Would he be Japanese? Why did they have a butler and a nanny? That that's that's how fucking yeah, she- yeah, Sheffield rich. was fucking caked up, dude. Up, yeah. What did he Side. do? What did he do? He was a stockbroker. Was he? Mm. I, I don't know. I, yeah, Some I'm assuming, like yeah, yeah. or a prince? Maybe he was. He the was prince the prince of England. Of England. <laughs> yeah, he sold crumpet, crimpets. No, who the fuck is the king of England? You never he hear died. about that guy. No, he died. Don't they have a new king? Isn't that how fucking kings work? That's a good point. What do you mean, the husband of the queen? No, that's uh, what's his name. He's dead as hell, right? No, he's alive, I think. Isn't That's the queen really? legally obliged to marry? No, wait. The way it That's works is... That's the queen husband. What's there's, his name? There's the king, the lord husband, queen. The lord, <laughs> the lord husband. And then the queen... That's what Bill Clinton's about to be. The queen fucks those... There, there's a certain type of drone that fucks the queen. <laughs> and that produces everybody in England. <laughs> I thought it was just a it's bunch just a of... chimney sweep. Yeah, yeah. A specific kind of chimney sweep fucks the queen. Yeah, I, think I like how they, they named, like, bees. They named, like, the queen. They're like, oh, that must be the royal one because it's the biggest and then it's just the biggest whore yes. <laughs> it's just this sex slave that lives in the middle of the hive no, she's the fuck. queen because she's the boss dude uh, she's I think not the they boss, just all dude. fuck her right they all just fuck she's just a big fuck hog that lives in the middle of the beehive <laughs> that sounds pretty chill yeah imagine dude, if we could just go every time we want to fuck just take a train to like to yeah. the queen the middle of I guess midtown or yeah. something and then the top just of the Empire State quick. Building the Anthony Kumia Studios <laughs> there's a there's an 1100 pound woman <laughs> that everyone has sex with there's some good pussy underneath that <laughs> stomach boy I'll tell you what <laughs> 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 whose bit is that uh, everyone's uh, I don't think it's anybody's bit oh really dibs guys yeah. yours 
Nice. Yours. Um, that's yeah. the thing about big girls. <laughs> you think they'd be nasty, but underneath that stomach, <laughs> woo! <laughs> this yeah. man knows what I'm saying. Hell yeah. This Look is- at him. He's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> He's smiling because he knows, baby. Yeah, he know, baby. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that was a good B riff, I think. I uh, think so. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. I, I still think she's the boss of everyone. How is she the boss? What does she do to make them... She just was gets there fun. a queen in the Jerry Seinfeld movie? Ooh, yeah. Good Jerry, question. Jerry Seinfeld is the one B that can't get it hard for the queen. <laughs> that's the plot of the movie. Is that literally that the plot? Get, <laughs> yes, get dude, That's exactly what happens. <laughs> And then fucking like oh, Kramer, I can't get a really yeah, Kramer's like Jerry, <laughs> Jerry j- Just take Viagra Jerry I'm buying you Discount can't cheat, Viagra Jerry. From China Jerry you can't cheat You can't juice <laughs> Wait so they got So Woody Allen got uh, An ant movie Yeah Jerry Seinfeld got A B movie Ant movie What are you talking about was it? Ants ant, uh, Oh Ants suck though a bu- That was a bootleg Of Bugs Life right It came out yeah. the same time And Bugs Life killed Bugs Life was so much better I, I I didn't maybe even see either. No, I think I saw him. He like had a therapist. Ants they looked should, weird. They should have a, a he movie. He was like a Woody Allen. He was like, hey, I, I I don't know. I'm just I'm working so hard. Yeah, it was day, called but- Ants, <laughs> and it was like uh, with a Z, right? It was, it was like Bugs Life. It was the same movie as Bugs Life, except it was called just Ants. Shittier. Yeah. They, uh, next, they're gonna give uh, uh, Kevin C- Hart the well, Cicada movie. Well, Seth Dickfield <laughs> the Lice movie. <laughs> Cicada, why are you so loud? <laughs> We have to eat all this hair. <laughs> I ooh, I just love eating hair. It's cheap, it's delicious, and it fills you up. Ooh, mm. every Jewish comedian should get a bug CGI yeah, yeah. movie. A bug movie. It's only fair. Get the fuck out of here! This cat's trying to eat my fucking sub. Dude. The cat's trying to eat the sub. <laughs> Move it the other direction because it's gonna fuck up the podcasting equipment. What with is his hair? Yeah, it's the cat. Yeah. All right. I got it here, dude. AKA the gear, dude. The gear, bitch. We're, well, yeah. The, there's a cat in the Anthony Cumia studios now. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's House in a cat. bodega. AC hey, yeah. too. Me and Stav are doing the Anthony Cumia show next week. Which, oh hell yeah! Which, by the way, seems like an error on like They're like booking. No, no, like political season to be on the Anthony Cumia yeah, show. <laughs> are they like Trump? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, oh yeah, are they dude. Trump? Oh so, yeah. So uh, you know, and, and like just last week was like you know at that shooting at that nightclub in Florida. <laughs> as soon as it happened, he's on fucking the Twitter. Teen, the teen club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. He's, he's on social media and he tweeted, "I guess Black Lives don't matter." With like the Black Lives Matter emoji, and it's oh like, oh my god, what do you stand to gain? In this exactly. <laughs> what is the point? You're just happy that black children are dead. You're happy that black teens are dead. <laughs> Somebody was showing me uh, when that guy Jesus drove that truck Christ. through uh, that in France. You know, in France. France. Yeah. yeah, when truck boys happened, <laughs> that could have been movie. us. Dude. That's what I was saying. Yeah, that it was probably a production assistant that was like, <laughs> He's a "I'm sorry, I just don't know how to drive this truck." <laughs> he picked a truck up at CC Rentals. Yeah, my in uncle Midtown. got me this job. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, dude. Stop fighting with a cat right now. This guy's really trying to get after my sub. Yeah, I it's fucking it. annoying. Um, it doesn't respect the rules of broadcasting. It doesn't know that we're. This is an alpha male podcast, and we don't stand for that kind of shit. Um, what were you saying about niece? Oh, yeah. Well, I forget. I'm sorry. <laughs> something about when that happened, somebody said something or something. And Was it funny, nice, man? No, it wasn't going to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, I apologize. Come boy update. What are we? What's everybody up to? Yeah, nothing. I've I been, went I'm wasting re- money on power tools. Why? What'd you do? I built a desk. How's it? How is it for you? It's great. I did a good job. I, I mean, actually, you know what? I, I didn't think you guys were going to be here this week to do this one. So I was gonna do like a, like a, like a podcast takeover where it's like an episode on like carpentry, <laughs> and then just have another mic like next to the fucking circular saw, saw yeah. and then just be like, and it's real easy. You just you just cut it this way, and then, yeah, yeah, and just blow go. out the fucking have it be completely, completely unlistenable. unlistenable. Yeah, I thought that would be a fun way to treat the listeners of the show, right? Uh, who do nothing for us. Literally nothing. <laughs> yeah, give for us any money, us. dude. Give us money. Yeah. Oh, please. also, my car's not actually stolen, so you. Don't, I know we were oh, going to. Oh, yeah, yeah this right. is That's a big. <laughs> you lied to David Cross. Dude, yeah. I lied to David Cross, dude. Stop I'm such lied. a fucking idiot. To the president of comedy. 
I uh, yeah, I just completely forgot where I parked my car, <laughs> and like I called the cops three different times, dude. <laughs> I called the cops. I called the cops once, and uh, they come, they come, and they're like, they refuse to take a report. They're like, uh, we don't believe that you, your car got stolen. You have to look around some more. We're not taking a report. Call back and like. Call back the next shift. We don't want to come out again. And I'm like, all right, these. Fu- I can't believe it. I'm being fucking oppressed by these fucking pigs. <laughs> I I wa- I look around. I look all up and down. Fucking all of Astoria from like a fucking 15 block radius, dude. We're talking like from you know Broadway to fucking 24th Avenue, from 42nd Street to 50th Street, right? And then I call back. Wait a minute, 42nd Street yeah. <laughs> all the way to 50th Street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, those are street numbers. Those are big street numbers. Those are uh, Broadway. Yeah, sorry, sorry, guys. This is like a pretty New York insider part of the podcast. Yeah, you got to be Queens, a New Yorker. To, yeah. Queens is so confusing to get around. Yeah, because so, they have streets, avenues. And roads. 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 And they're all numbered the same They're shit. all numbers. Fucking um, get out of here, Queens. Tell me about it. So I call the cops again. The, th- the second guys won't take a fucking, uh, they won't take the report because it's registered to my dad. Right, so they tell me get a fucking notarized letter from your father, get title registration, all this fucking paperwork that I got my parents to prepare. <laughs> they bring it. My brothers were visiting me that weekend. They bring it from Baltimore. Same <laughs> next day, I call the cops. Finally, again, I'm like, listen, motherfuckers, I have all this paperwork. This is the third. These are the third people that have come out. Please just write me a fucking report. I want to get this over with so it's off my insurance. You know. And they're like, look, we understand. We have to. We have to do. We have to do like our investigation. We're just gonna take you up and down some streets for you know ten minutes, and then we can be on our way. And I'm like, I fu- listen, you stupid motherfuckers. I have walked up and down this whole neighborhood, but wa- fine, we'll do it. And so I, I am about to take him back on 42nd through 50th, but 42nd's blocked, so they go up 41st, and my car's just on 41st, right they there, right by my house. They probably found your car immediately after they first came out, and they were like, let's give this guy a hard time. Yeah, I fucking, it did you, was did you, so embarrassing. Did you see that video of that guy in Staten Island, like, tearing down the ribbons for the police officers? No. They were like, the, the, the headline was, Black Lives Matter supporter tearing <laughs> down Blue Lives Matter ribbons, and then you watch the video and he's wearing like short jort like bike it's like a white dude with the fucking macklemore hair it's just some fucking like piece Hell of yeah. hipster that's like i'm gonna move to like staten island actually <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm gonna move to you staten know what? island it's yeah staten island and so he's tearing down the ribbons like emphatically and he's like black lives matter and some guy's filming him he's like what are you doing what are you doing that for <laughs> What are you doing that for? And he's like, black lives matter, not blue lives. Oh, my God. Or whatever. And just like, you know, like kissing them and throwing them to the ground. Ugh. And, uh, yeah, you, Staten Island is basically a police station. <laughs> the entire island is like a police station how do they, if, built how, on top of garbage. How does the economy work if everyone is a firefighter there? If um, it, literally every single male in Staten Island is Well, FDNY. every 10 years, they have a 9-11. And that brings in a lot of business. Yeah, just think about all the pins and little flags that they. Yeah, it's not just firefighting; it's firefighter memorabilia that they produce. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, they also make little fire, little hats, little helmets for tiny hats. Yeah, yeah, like I got a firefighter firefighter store with firefighter T-shirts, firefighter pins. They say firefighters, you know, they got the biggest hoses. That means dick, by the way, (laughs) bitch. You fucking bitch whore. Yeah, keep doing steroids, you fucking pig. <laughs> I was working uh I was working with this he was like a cool guy, uh, on like the truck this week, but he like also was like uh you know, he's like from the Bronx or whatever. And uh yeah, just not cat calling women, but like every girl that walks by the truck just like yeah, let me see them panties, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Wait, but like, you know why it's endearing. to you, right? What's that? To them or like quietly? Yeah, the windows are rolled up. But yeah, yeah, I yeah. feel like only because it was hot out. Oh, if yeah. like the weather had been nice, the windows well, would have been down. Well, when we did truck boys, like you just become a monster. When yeah, you, do you do menial labor. I don't know what it is. Yeah, What is it? I don't know. You've I remember we movies. were in that truck and there were just like girls walking past the truck and I'd be like, I would I would fuck, it, I would fuck her in the ass right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what, I don't care if it's 10 degrees outside, I would fuck her it's, in the, in the streets. You I would fuck her in the streets. Are just behaving the way you think teamsters should behave you just first you just of all i am a teamster <laughs> so it's not the way i think anything i'm a i'm a teamster 
you literally just become a monster when you're working a menial labor job. That's I guess. inside you the whole time, Adam. Yes, the caveman is there. The yeah. caveman's always been there. That's what you know. But the second I lift one box, then yeah, I become. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, what Tim, become, the good prophet Tim Allen teaches us. <laughs> <laughs> that's like uh, like you know how Buddhists have like Om. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, like that's their noise. That's his mantra. That's Ooh. his oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Namaste, and it's like he has yoga, but it's to make your you less flexible. <laughs> It's so that you fucking slip a disc trying to pick up, you know, your wallet when you're 40 years old. Oh, fuck. I want to be a jacked fucking fat guy, dude. I want to be a fat guy with big ass arms. Um, well, you're not. So I know, dude, you're a regular I fat be, guy. How do you're at Planet Fitness, shit? though. Huh? You're at Planet Fitness, the pizza gym. I know. The pizza, out- pizza bagel gym. Yeah. That's uh, so funny. I know, dude. It's so good. I never whole- time it right for the pizza or the bagels. Yeah, I don't know what it is either. It's one day a month. I, I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, it's it's hilarious. They're just tricking fat people into giving them $10 a month. Like, yeah, that's never it. going. It's you a low go. enough number that exactly. you don't really have to commit to yeah, go to the it gym. It feels good to be in a gym. I mean, well, I what, what the fuck is in a Planet Fitness? It's like 35 fly machines. Yeah, and there's then, no free weights. Like, yeah, no, like so, 10, there's 10, there's 10 no, like, squat dumbbells. rack or anything like that. Yeah. There's no squat rack. There's dumbbells up to like 90 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, there's Smith machines and Which shit. Which is really, I need, I need more than. The yeah, I got it. Yeah, that's yeah, the problem. I tape, I tape two together. First of all, yeah, I curl. <laughs> so I used to work out in the gym next to like the office in my apartment complex, and the maintenance guy who was like, just sort of a weird guy. Um, like I was friends with him. He was like, you know, cool, but he's like, I, he would just say shit that was like, obviously not true. Right. And he like came into the weight room while I was in there, like squatting or something and he's like yep i used to curl 225 pounds <laughs> 10 times <laughs> that's the funniest thing yeah, lying like, about how much yeah, weight yeah. you can put up right yeah yeah yeah, yeah what like, are you gaining from yeah that? yeah it's like yeah no you, no you didn't yeah and, and see your frame there's no, there's no way there's no way in hell you did that was that just unprovoked yeah, no, he just decided to say that. <laughs> That's gym talk. That's gym talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like a, it's it was like a small room. I was just in there. I was, I was there by myself with the rack, and he walked in, and he's just like, you know, hands on his hips, like, yep, yes, sir. <laughs> this used to be me in here. <laughs> Some fictional point in his life. Just having a thought out loud. That's all he's doing is thinking yeah, yeah, yeah. so you can hear it. That guy, he blew up at Seth one time, and Seth was like completely shook. The real Seth. Oh really? Yeah, because oh, yeah, yeah. all the comics lived in that in that. Uh, yeah, yeah, we all lived complex. in that apartment complex, and like he had said something like about Seth's girlfriend, you know, and they were like, and he in his mind he was joking around or whatever, and I guess Seth was too. Don't you mean his Goyle friend? Yeah, my Goyle friend. <laughs> he was like, uh, he was like, yeah, I guess you like them uh, Amazonian girls, huh? Because his girlfriend's like five nine, you know, <laughs> and so he's like, I guess you like those Amazonian girls. And uh, Seth was like, you know, watch it, buddy, or I'll knock that coffee cup right out of your hand, you know. And, it, <laughs> and uh, Harlan's mood immediately changes, and he's like, yeah, that'll be the last fucking thing you ever do. <laughs> and like, <laughs> Seth was like, uh, oh! <laughs> he's like terrified. Oh my god! I love there's that aggression for no fucking reason, just always hoping to get into a fight yeah, in the back yeah, of your yeah. fucking mind. I'm god. so scared of those kind of guys, though. Yeah, but everybody wants to be those guys. And that's what, what the good prophet Tim Allen teaches us. <laughs> When's the last the inside, time you were in a fight? I got in as an adult? Like, yeah. Any kind of I, any kind of violent altercation. Physical altercations. In D.C., there was a shove. A shove? I, I shoved a guy, and then the security... Oh, you, sho- you were the aggressor? The security at the Wonderland Ballroom <laughs> escorted him out. <laughs> but, okay, well, we did uh, Brandon Weatherby, his podcast. Brandon Weatherby was out of town, so he's like, I'm getting a guest host this week. It's going to be Michael Foodie. It was our, our friend Michael Foodie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so our friend Shots Michael... Foodie. It was this, like, talk show, podcast, whatever, in, like, a bar, basically. Yeah. It was so really well attended. And it was people really well attended. Hella paid attention. So, dude, he put so much effort into that podcast. It's got to have big numbers to justify. I, I don't know I if don't... he's doing it as much anymore. Oh, okay. I, I think, think he's, so. like, more into writing for for that website, BYT. BYT. Um, anyway, so Michael, he, he, so you had, he had a book of band and guests and stuff. 
So he didn't know anyone in a band, so he wrote on Facebook, does anyone know anyone in a band? <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's like... Uh, the whole show, there are these three guys in the back of the room. They're like, this shit sucks. They're like heckling the show. They're like, fuck you. This is fucking sucks. And then like, <laughs> Wait, hold on. These guys rule. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they were probably right. They were, they were probably right. Michael was doing a very bad job of hosting the show. It was a disaster. <laughs> and then he's like, um, uh, next up we have the band. I don't know if they're here. And it's those three guys stand That's up. That's incredible. And then they're like take their acoustic guitars one of them has bongos oh hell it was yes. a very acoustic setup and they like start playing these like this really bad like bluegrassy like Ugh. it was awful i remember one of the lines of their songs was i'll write you letters from the blood stain on my sweaters oh <laughs> jesus Christ. It was just really That's terrible who the brutal. fuck is fighting in a sweater anyway <laughs> i have no idea so Anyway, yeah, this my, is my job, MMA turtleneck. I wasn't even on the podcast, but Brandon had one of those Zoom recorder things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he plugged it into the soundboard, and my job was to take it and like keep it at my house until he was in town the next week. And so I grabbed the Zoom recorder after the show, and those three guys, like who had a terrible set, it just fell apart in the middle. Um, were like the bongos weren't captivating, dude. And this yeah, yeah. Is, would this be like t funny to set up if you could like had the money to bankroll it? But an MMA promotion, but all the fighters have to fight in jeans. <laughs> <laughs> they all wear like Wrangler dungarees, <laughs> like big work jeans. Yeah, this yeah, is like yeah. a Junkos. That's like your style of fighting. Is Jinko what kind of, fighting? Yeah, what kind of jeans you have? <laughs> Doesn't Jinko sound like like an Australian racial slur? Uh, every Australian word sounds like a racial. <laughs> Look slur. at those fucking. Jinkos over there. <laughs> hey, so fuck, this, you, you, fucking big you let him stick his didgeridoo dick inside <laughs> of you. You know their cum has got AIDS in it, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, it's got that didgeridoo bog semen in it. <laughs> <laughs> this neighborhood's all lebos, jinkos. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm grabbing. I grab the Zoom recorder. I'm leaving, and this the dude. One of the dudes is like, "If you fucking put that on the internet, I'm gonna sue you." And I was like. You're not going to sue anyone. Right, right, right. He's like, give it to me. So he grabs the Zoom recorder, and I'm like, we're in like a struggle for the Zoom recorder. <laughs> and all, this guy agreed to be on a podcast? He agreed to be on a talk show podcast with this fucking awful band. But he band, just bombed. And he bombed, and he was heckling the whole show. <laughs> and Michael's like on the side the whole time, and he's like, uh, e even though it's uh, poorly attended, uh, we have a listenership of 60,000 people. You know, like he was just like, like, uh, you know, making jokes, whatever. And yeah. so he gets in my face, this dude. I, like, grab the Zoom recorder. He gets in my face, and he's like, listen, you fucking Jew. <laughs> nuh -uh. Yeah, and the really? second he said... <laughs> and the second, while, the, while the thing's still recording? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, it wasn't recording at this point. That's yeah, awesome. that would have been called hilarious. You a fucking Jew. He's like, listen, you fucking Jew. He's like, I'm gonna fucking break your glasses. And then... Holy shit. The second he said Jew, for some reason, I don't know, yeah. I just shoved him into the wall. Your training kicked in. My training came Your, in. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I fucking... The Zionist training. My, yeah, I did Krav Maga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I Krav Maga got him. That band? The band. Bruno Mars and the Mars Boys. Yeah. <laughs> that was before that was they... Bruno Mars. Bruno that Mars and the Mars Bars. <laughs> that was before. Yeah. yeah. Wow, dude. Yeah. And that was before as he, he got, got the bottom surgery. As he got dragged out, he was going, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then that's how they came up with that song, actually. <laughs> That's where it came from. Yeah, was when that, he, was that one shove fight that I was in That's when I was 24 shit. years old. When he was uh, 26 years old. He was at the halftime uh, Super Bowl. Yeah. Half I happen to think he killed that shit. Well, I, I do he, too. He wasn't bad. I thought he was sick. Me too. I'm, he, I'm pro Bruno. I was he in looked, a room of people that were like, this fucking suck. I was like, I don't know. No, they're he's, haters, dude. He put on a he's quite a show. putting on a show. He yeah. was dressed exactly like, uh, remember that girl Chelsea that did comedy? <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea Short. Yeah. Yeah. They looked identical. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> they did, and they had the same haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that is very. Yeah, she's. Um, I saw her back in DC last time. I was yeah, there. I remember. How's DC? It's good. Brandon, Brandon booked this Sorry. guy on the, one of those shows one time, 
who brought this weird fucking like accordion thing. Were you oh, there yeah, for that yeah, one? Oh yeah, I was there for that. He had this like weird bullshit instrument that this guy like he's like, and you know whether he's no, it's that thing from uh, uh from that P.T. Anderson movie from with oh uh, yeah Adam that Sandler. tiny piano yeah yeah, yeah that melodica? piano yeah melodia yeah yeah yeah, melodia. yeah, 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 yeah something yeah, like that yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know and whether he's like piano oh, I'm so excited about yeah. this this is gonna be great it's great everybody's great this is gonna be so great I'm so excited to have this guy you know because he's always upbeat and the guy doesn't even know how to fucking play the thing yeah you me and Dana were there yeah. Yeah, like Dana was like crying, trying not to laugh. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, I wish I was there. <laughs> it was so funny. That's so good. Yeah, yeah, that guy was terrible. Yeah, he was wearing like girl jeans and like, I think he was doing like poems about how he might have been molested. I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell what like the point of it was. Is it, what was it? Uh, we were talking about slam poems, like how 50% of slam poems, like they accidentally say that they were molested in the middle. Yeah. I don't think we true? were talking about no, that. No, never mind. I, uh, yeah. Personally, I don't think it's funny to, to make to Fun, fun of, of slam poetry. Poetry. Yeah. Yeah. poetry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Poetry is the only true art form. I agree you know? with that. You know who said that? Jay Z. Our prophet to me. me. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so put that on a fucking needle point. Um, I will, bitch. One thing I said in the uh, s- s- since we're catching up, I said in the first half that's not c- coming out. But <laughs> I went back to Vegas for my dad's birthday. Oh hell yeah! We all dude. went to a bar together, like oh, a, which nice. is like cool actually. No, like the the people, my parents and my sister and me. And there was a dude j- dressed as Captain Jack Sparrow in the bar. Were you at yeah, Joe's nice. Crab Shack? No, no, no. We were in this like tiki lounge, like Hawaiian theme bar. It was 111 degrees outside and Jesus nighttime. Christ. I think it'd be really nice. Nighttime. The sun had gone down. Oh, to my hang God. Out, hang out at Joe's Crab Shack as Jack Sparrow at the bar and try to pick fights with people. <laughs> try to get into fights with people. Come every night. Just How order... Long- Order margaritas and try s- to fucking get in a fight with So people. I see the Jack Sparrow guy. My sister sees him. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Haley goes to law school with that guy. <laughs> what? And we were just like... <laughs> hey, wait, <laughs> he was just there, like, the he was just, like, lawyer, more dude. fun? He was there doing Jack... No, I think he was hired for, like, the okay. event that we were at, gotcha, maybe. Gotcha, gotcha. But, um... What event? Yeah, we were, jo- we were just joking around earlier about, like, a pirate in law school. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh, yeah, that pirate goes to my law school. <laughs> How long do you think it would take if you came back to a place dressed as a fictional character to just get... Do you think people would kick you out ever? Or do you think they'd be like, just you'd be that free publicity, you'd be like a free fixture to the bar? What if you like spent your time putting together a cool bar and some guy just kept showing up as Jack Sparrow? I think... Could you do anything you about can't, that? I mean, you can't kick him out. You I can't mean, kick him out. <laughs> for being really cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you kick the coolest He's guy in the Jack bar? Sparrow. <laughs> You can't kick him out. Unless it's actually Johnny Depp, in I which case you can ask him to leave because he beat up he, his wife. I think that know. that guy, actually, well, my sister on, was telling man. me, was a glorified, like, like Times Square Elmo, like, t- oh, nice. street performer from the strip that was so good. Oh, he, he that, came up? That, like, that people, girl like, was, hired him for events and That stuff. girl was yeah. so hot that the Amber, one, the Amber one heard. Johnny Depp. The one, yeah, the one, the one he who beat, beat up. Which is, like, around. she's so hot that, she's like, so even hot. for being Johnny Depp, I don't think he should be allowed to fuck her. So even if she is lying, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of on her side here. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea. You, you don't think Johnny of- Depp, the famous millionaire movie actor, is hot enough to fuck a hot girl? To, to fuck a hot like actress who's also a millionaire in her own from, right. From what? What was she act? What did she act in? Like two she, things. The, the Dice Brothers, dude. She was <laughs> in um, that Shoot. that movie starring Donnie and Mark Wahlberg, The Dice Brothers, where they they play dice all the time. They're like, Hey, Donnie, what if we start making our own dice? And then they uh, they open a dice factory. Oh yeah, I remember and Amber that one. plays the foreman. She's like the hip girl foreman. Yeah, and that evil Jew wants to buy it and turn the dice into the dreidels. Yeah, so (laughs) the Wahlberg brothers have to tear his eyes out with meat hooks. Yeah. (laughs) They have to fight for the dice. Yeah. Yo, I think he he brings a golem back to life and they have to fight him. You're gonna fight for the dice. (laughs) I think we just ran a movie. uh, Oh, what were we doing with Eye of the Tiger? The guy who fucks tigers. <laughs> the guy who fucks tigers. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. The guy who fucks tigers. Yeah. That was a good song. We should do a whole album of those. We really, we've really we been slacking on that, dude. We have a lot of really good ones. It's hard to record music, man. I think we should do an album per artist. Like We, we could almost do a full album off Springsteen. I, ha- I, oh, wanted, yeah. I really wanted... One time I saw uh, the best of... Uh, 
uh, Kenny Loggins. Oh, yeah. Best of Kenny Loggins CD. Uh-huh. And I wanted to um, just make one of those, but it's every track is the danger zone. <laughs> <laughs> There's 14 tracks of the danger zone. Bonus danger zone. One time I was in a Sam Goody and I saw the best of the Fugees. And I think the Fugees only had one album, the score. Oh yeah. So it was just a different track listing of that's their one fucking, album. Yeah. That's, that's pretty, pretty funny. Good. Yeah. What was the first fucking album? What was the first C D you bought? Bought? Um Slim Shady was Hell yeah. Like I don't actually, know if that was the first like, one. bought, like it wasn't like a gift I asked for, but uh, I mean either one. Yeah. Uh Evil Empire, I think. What was Evil Empire? Raging Against the Machine. Oh, nice. Oh, London Calling by the Clash. This is hilarious. Mine is so gay. Mine was uh, the Backstreet Boys, Untitled. The first That's not surprising. Self-titled. My sister used to get all <laughs> that stuff. A little, like, gender-confused fat boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that makes total sense. <laughs> Wait, where does the gender confusion come in <laughs> here? You thought you were a girl for years. I mean, I want... For the you attention. know what's hilarious? This is 100% true. You know Charles Bronson? Yes. Uh, the actor had not the, gender dysmorphia. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he was like apparently grew up so Trans. poor that he had to go to school wearing his as like, a girl as yeah his sister's dresses. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> like, if he's in school wearing his, his sister's dresses and kids would like make fun of him and be like leave me alone, <laughs> like stop don't make fun of me. Or no, we should get have what's a death, coming to you. We should <laughs> have a death wish viewing. Just I, just I used the boys. to I used to marathon all those. Mo- Actually, I just downloaded Under Siege. And I was going to watch it That's after That's one this. of my favorite movies Yeah, yeah me ever, too dude. So if you want to watch Under Siege after this I know Scav's got to run I got to go to Ari's birthday party <laughs> Tell Ari it's canceled, dude <laughs> Birthday's canceled He'll never know Tell him something came up Until he <laughs> listens to the podcast <laughs> And here's my secret plan To cancel his birthday um, I think you came to his birthday party last year I did me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, It's but, at the same place uh, Holy shit, it's been Discovery a year already zone? Well, fucking Uh Another Charles Bronson story that's great. Some woman who was like an heiress of some kind, or at least she had a decent amount of fucking money. Mm-hmm. Uh, she started. Go- she had like schizophrenia or something, and she started going crazy like late in her life. And she wrote a l- her last will and testament and left all of her money to Charles Bronson, what the actor. And you know she died, and he got like three hundred thousand dollars from this woman or something. <laughs> what? And the family contacted him. They're like, are like. Look, she was what's going on. She was crazy. So, like, if you could just, you know, give, give us, us the, the money. money. And he was like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he kept yeah, the yeah, money? Yeah. I'm keeping the money. It's for me. <laughs> Someone like, killed my yeah. wife. <laughs> if you if you want it, you can come and take it from my cold, dead hands. <laughs> Charlie Heston. <laughs> yeah. Is he dead? He's dead, right? Yeah, oh, he's yeah. Dead. He's been yeah, dead yeah. since, like, Probably the mid nineties. No, 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 it's no. Recent, he died more recently. recently. Oh yeah, you're right because he was, he was in something dude. in like 2000. It was shocking how like that he was still he alive. Was alive. Yeah, because yeah. he was born in like 1920. Yeah, like yeah, he owed something like that. I don't he know. Was old it, as hell. When Death Wish came out, he was already a fucking like an older guy. Yeah, and that was in like what 74. Yeah, I feel or like something? his whole career he's been an older guy. Like, yeah. As far as well, not real. I mean, he was, like, relatively young and, like, Dirty Dozen and shit. I guess that's true. What's funny is, like, he used to be, like, a boxer, and he, like, always stayed in that shape. Who, Bronson? Yeah. Not Heston. Uh, no, yeah. I'm, I'm talking about Charles Bronson still. Yeah, yeah. Heston never came up. He just said Heston. Oh. Uh, yeah, no. Cold Dead Hands. Doesn't matter. You say Cold Dead Hands. Oh, yeah, like yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I was doing the Charles Bronson voice. I thought you were doing the Charlton Heston voice. <laughs> no. That's not what Charlton Heston sounds like. Do it. I can't do Charlton Heston. No, it's, it's Bronson. Yeah, damn no you bro. all. You damn no, dirty I, Nobody H. can do his voice. He has like an iconic voice. Damn, damn you all. <laughs> <H>. <laughs> he doesn't sound like that. Damn you. What do you Damn you. Damn you. Charlie Bronson has that weird cadence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. Right. That is a good Bronson. Yeah. That's a good Heston. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, but... No, oh, yeah. Bronson's a boxer. No, I already told this. St- oh, yeah, he was a boxer. So in, like, Death Wish 3, or, yeah, I think it's Death Wish 3, it opens up with this scene of him on the beach in, like, a Speedo. <laughs> and, like, you're used to seeing him in, like, fucking pea coats and shit, like, yeah. lurking yeah, around yeah. New York. And he's wearing this, like, you know, tiny bathing suit, and he's just fucking jacked, and he's, like, 60 years old. Holy I think shit. there are, like, memes with that picture. Yeah? 
Yeah, and that and the Sean Connery in a speedo with the bullet, vet, the bullets. Oh yeah, I've seen yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Where he plays that? What was that movie? That Zardoz. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit's tight. I wanted to get a portrait tattoo of Charles Bronson. After do um, it, bitch. I, this was years ago. Do I it. don't have tattoos. I feel like it's too late. Why do you, too late you get a thigh? Come boys aren't thirty seven right? years old, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get no, tattoos at forty six years old. Yes, you can, dude. You'd be cool. You'd become a cool guy like every comedian who gets sleeves. Do you have 40. any tattoos? No. Of course not. We're not tatted. I'm not tatted. That's the new having tattoos. But I might. Not having tattoos. Yeah, I might. Cool. Really? Yeah, you can't get not? buried in a Jewish cemetery, dude. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm friends with a guy that's the lizard. Eric Sprague. Oh, yeah. The lizard man. Dude, I saw a lizard. I saw like a full face tat. Wait, green really? Guy. You know that dude? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, I don't know if I told this story on the podcast, but I used to deliver pizza in Austin. And I knew Eric as the lizard guy. Yeah. But Austin's also filled with a bunch of fucking like retards that do weird shit, you know? He has a forked tongue, too. Wait, right? maybe this did come up on the podcast. Yeah, maybe. And I delivered pizza to him and. Like, I didn't recognize... Like, he was wearing glasses, <laughs> but he didn't recognize me, and so he was just taking the pizza, and at the end, I was like, Eric, and he was like, yeah, I'm like, it's Nick. He's like, oh, shit, yeah, sorry, I didn't, like, recognize you, <laughs> like, the Papa John's uniform on. I'm like, okay, because for, like, 30 seconds, I legitimately thought Austin had two guys that were <laughs> completely tattooed, like, lizards, with the implants and shit. <laughs> I was on the train the other day, and there was a guy who had, like, scale, like, green... He had, like, a green full-face tat, huge plugs in his ears, Ugh. like, like a big, like, septum, like, bull ring, and he, like, sits down on the train, and the next stop, this mom and, like, little toddler gets on, and she... The, the, the little kid looks at him... Of course. ...and just starts scream crying. Really? She's so afraid. And then just the look on this guy's face, like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, but like, he did that to I can't himself. take... The, yeah, it's his fucking yeah, yeah. fault, you know? You know what I want to get? I just can't walk around in public? I want to get on my forehead just Staten Island <laughs> across the top, and then one of the towers on one cheek, <laughs> the other tower on the other cheek... And then never uh, in the mustache area, and then forget on my on the chin. chin. Yeah. And then nine eleven across my neck. <laughs> That's pretty good, man. Yeah, and then gauge my ears out and little pentagons. That's what that movie mm. Memento is about. It was a guy who yeah. couldn't remember nine eleven. Yeah, so he had to keep yeah, getting get tattoos so he could remember. Tats. Yeah, yeah. That, that was that movie about. Is it, what if there was a guy yeah. with all the tattoos from Memento? There's definitely someone who has that. Some oh my god! Nerd. Some <clears throat> did you see Prometheus? No, I heard it was a piece of shit. It's actually not bad, but it's so miscast. Like, mm. there's all these weird fucking casting choices in the movie. Like, is Prometheus the District Nine guy that no. made it? Oh, no, 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 no. You're thinking of Elysium. Elysium, yeah. 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 Prometheus is like uh, the Alien prequel. Oh yeah, yeah. The Ridley Ridley Scott made it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's good, but I didn't then, see it. well, they have like Idris Elba in it, yeah. But like as a background like character, oh, he's just hilarious. he plays the captain of like the, the guy that flies the ship, and he's like, "Well, y'all better get get back to the ship pretty soon." He's got this like weird, you know, he's like a redneck. But then Guy Pierce plays a ninety year old man, <laughs> and it's like just cast a ninety year old yeah. man. I don't know, why. <laughs> just cast an old guy. They have like Guy Pierce and all this weird like. Like jackass old guy yeah, makeup, yeah, yeah. so he doesn't. He looks like the old guy from Jackass. Why don't? Why do they fucking bother with prosthetics and shit? Just fucking every actor wants to like be lauded for giving a a cool performance. There's yeah. so many old ass actors yeah. who can't get work. It's like how like you remember really, that really beautiful actresses when they go ugly, they get a like an Oscar nomination. Right. I might be imagining this, but do you remember right. the Fresh Prince of Bel Air episode where Will Smith wears the fat suit so he knows how to, like fat people feel <laughs> because he keeps making your mama so fat? No, Joe? really, is that or no? Yeah, he's making fun of Uncle Phil for being fat oh, or something, no. I don't and remember then he gets that. he wears a fat suit so he can know what it's like. Tyra Banks did that, I remember. Yeah, on the Tyra Banks show. Yeah, yeah, I remember hilarious. that. Was Tyra Banks on Fresh Prince? She, she played the mom. Love, love she played interest. one of the moms. Yeah, they she, would change the mom every episode. Every every episode, there was <laughs> and people now. Sometimes halfway through the episode, <laughs> yeah. you could see they would shoot them swapping out. <laughs> <laughs> she Always. used to be like the hottest girl in the world. Oh yeah, I, yeah. Plenty, <laughs> I, was, I did plenty of beating off. The I was laughing months. the other oh, day yeah. about like, you know, like today being like, okay, hottest girl in the world, go Tia Carrera. <laughs> 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 Wayne's World Two. Yeah. No, now like current modern day. Current. 
50 year old team that's i thing. thought it was uh no it's lame what? what? I thought it was funny that Dave Cross said uh, Alyssa Milano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like a sex symbol from 20 years ago. Hot, yeah, yeah, but I mean, so she's still he. hot. Yeah. He was a sex symbol from 20 years ago. I guess so. <laughs> 20 yeah, years we ago. We only get sex Back symbols. when he was having sex. Yeah, he probably doesn't have sex anymore. Yeah, no. We'll Alyssa probably Milano see him soon. Hot. Like We'll probably hang out with him pretty soon, I honestly. Saw, I saw on the street like one of friend. my all time crushes. Who? Rosario Dawson. Really? Where? Remember when we saw in Heather the West Graham? Village. And she <laughs> looked at us? Yeah, she wanted to fuck us, dude. Yeah. Heather Graham? <laughs> Nick and I walked past us on this, past Heather Graham on the street, and she, like, literally just wanted yeah, to fuck both of us. She did. She no, looked at I us. actually fucked her before she saw you, and she said she didn't. She was way skinnier in real life. Yeah. She walked by, and I was like, I fucked you six times. <laughs> I fucked you six times. I fucked you six times. That's the best cat call. Yeah. I fucked you six times because it confuses me. We already fucked. We already fucked, it wasn't that good. I fucked you six times. This time. Yelling that at women. <laughs> I already fucked you. It was that good. I fucked you six times. <laughs> that should. Be, we should start doing that. Oh, that's good. All guys. the cumboys out there, take videos of you doing that and send us vines. Yeah, at yeah. Brandon Wardell. We're cat calling women to raise awareness for ALS. <laughs> Uh, just run up to a random woman on the street, honk her tits, and then ice bucket her. <laughs> and say, dicks out for Harambe, Brandon yeah, Wardell made Brandon me Wardell. Did Brand, Brandon yeah. made... Okay, guys, I don't if you're in talk college, to him about it. Brandon What's made that? that up? What, dicks out for Harambe? Yeah, I don't, it's like a big deal. Though. I don't know if he I made mean, it up. dicks out for Harambe. I mean, did he get behind it? I, Dude, who well, knows? Well, Brandon's never made anything up in his life. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know who Danny Trejo was. He thought he was a dishwasher or whatever venue was mistakenly let Brandon do his shitty Snapchat comedy. And he's like, oh, I'm going to get this dishwasher say dicks out for Harambe. Dude. You Brandon, know, man, Brandon's I, a DJ, man. Don't, Danny talk. Trail. Yeah, yeah. don't talk about DJ. Don't talk about yeah. DJ, DJ and like Twitter that. personality Brandon Wardell like that. <laughs> Twitter DJ Brandon Wardell. He he has no idea who Danny Trejo is. You know, Danny Trejo used to fucking rob convenience stores with hand grenades. Really? Yeah. yeah he would pull the fucking too. pin Holy out and be shit. like, "Give me the money." When he was like twelve, and he had that voice, <laughs> and he had the chest tattoo. The yeah, same thing. Yeah. The chest tattoo of the Tapatio man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Danny Trejo's chest tattoo. <laughs> oh God! Fuck! When we were talking about hot celebrity, oh yeah, I mean, Heather Graham was skinnier. We were laughing about uh, Rosario Dawson person. I mean, the dime mm. of dimes. We were mm. laughing about. Uh, She's the best. Just She's like best. asking your friend permission to fall in love with his sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, can I? Uh... Yo, dude, I know this might seem weird, but like. What if I fell in love with your sister? <laughs> Can I be perfectly real with you guys? When I was 17, me and my friend Leo had that conversation. Oh, wow. You wanted to... Him, his sister... Wait a minute. Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, yeah. My friend Leo DiCaprio. Leo? Yeah. About... And then I dated her. I was like... Oh, really? I think I I think I love your sister. You dated Le <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio? And I just want your permission for her hand in marriage. That's so funny. As a 17-year-old. You know you forget, because yeah. he's a celebrity, how much of a fucking Guido name Leonardo DiCaprio know, is? Yeah, that's the best. Yeah. 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 And he's such a blue-eyed, like, Spaghetti de, de pasta sauce. <laughs> Guido Bolognese. Yeah. Yeah, Guido Bolognese. Uh, Giuseppe Bolognese. Commendatory. What a Respect fucking Franklin. What an arrogant pair of parents to like name him like well, you know, like Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> name my son Leonardo DiCaprio. That's Where, like he's, a, he's not even from New York, right? No, he's, he's from, from like LA. LA. Yeah. yeah, he grew up in LA. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was a child star. Every child star is like you know has terrible name. Well, Sebastian. Th they're a child star because they knew some. Their parents knew somebody yeah. and they were connected. He I don't know who their fucking boy, parents though. are. He's a beautiful young man. Leo, growing pains. Oh man, what a oh yeah, what a. You think he ever got cutie. molested like everyone in Hollywood by says? Kurt Cameron before? Who like, said? Who Jesus. came out and said everybody got molested in Hollywood? So, uh, uh, Corey Feldman. No, it was Elijah no, Wood said it. Someone also said it that was the, Corey Feldman initially, and people like dismissed it. Someone said that the um the one of the Spider Man directors, Brian Singer, has boy sex parties where he just fucks what? just like him and a bunch of powerful Hollywood men fuck boys. Brian Singer, really? yeah, yeah, Brian yeah. Singer Sounds was cool. accused of like being a pedophile when, um, is that why they cast a nineteen-year-old Spider-Man? Yeah, yeah, they keep getting when, younger uh, and younger. <laughs> <laughs> we have a four-year-old Spider-Man. <laughs> Apt Pupil came out. What yeah. is it? Apt Pupil. The movie is Brad. Singer movie? Yeah, it's Brad Renfro and uh, Ian McKellen, and Ian McKellen plays this like 
Nazi war criminal that's like living covertly in Southern California and like Brad Renfro like discovers that he's a Nazi so he confronts him and he's like I've got a dossier on you like I you know he's like uh, I can expose you at any time and right. I want and he's like well what do you want and he's like I want you to tell me about you know what it was like to kill people or whatever Whoa. and then they have this weird sort of homoerotic relationship where they never actually fuck but then there's this extended like showering scene where like boy young boys are showering in the movie and they called in a bunch of extras for that scene and uh they filmed it and then like you know he was directing he's like all right now take off all your clothes or whatever because they were supposed to be in like bathing suits and like you know you, the, a film production is like such a high stress thing right they have the cameras pointing at them they're like they're just gonna do it because there's all this pressure not to fuck up the, the shot yeah, yeah. also you just they're little kids right they were 14 oh, okay and yeah, then their moms were all like behind the camera yeah, like yeah, take yeah. your fucking yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do it Stage Michael moms. we need another boat do it do Michael it. show your dick to that man <laughs> so we can dick, get Michael. mommy needs a Ferrari <laughs> so they you know they and they, you know they, then there was a a lawsuit and the lawsuit got dismissed or whatever they're like no it's not it's, it's art. art it's not exploitation and then like years later it came out that yeah Brian Singer was like molesting people so is he is he still fucking and sucking off little kids or apparently yeah. there's like a ring of powerful powerful Bill Clinton's uh, a part of it dude yeah. Bill Clinton yeah. <laughs> is part of this child molestation yeah, it's true What's, I never even like read anything about that the pedophile the Lolita Express that plane that you just fuck children on what I don't know you know what I'm talking about I the know. Lolita Express no. that guy Epstein that runs like a child fucking service or something <laughs> yes Epstein <laughs> You know him, Adam, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You guys I, went to synagogue my cousin, together? yeah. No, no, I've never heard of that. Brian Epstein, the first manager of the Beatles? The, the fifth Beatle? Yeah. Yep. Um, no. No, what is it fucking... Lolita you guys talk Express? for a second. I'm going to look it up. Uh, did you, you read that book, about? Lolita? Have you read it? No. It's a good book. You should read it. Is it about... It's about fucking a kid, but oh, it's, it's actually very, very good, yeah. The guy Na- I don't know about that. We're, Na- we're talking about We're talking about Lolita. We were talking about it on the on the lost half. Oh, it's the, Adam's half. favorite book, but I feel like it's also everybody's favorite book. That's just I've what I tell graphic designers uh, that I meet on Tinder oh, that when t- I, we're on. That's good. Yeah, you know Lolita. It's like even though it's pedophilia, I think the the yeah. prose is so beautiful. <laughs> even even though it's like something reprehensible. So yeah, what is it like being a graphic designer in yeah. uh, Brooklyn? What's that like? That, that's, that's unique. Oh, you went to Wesleyan. What did you study? Oh, gender. Oh, cool. <laughs> you studied genders, just like penises and I vaginas. studied trans bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> at uh, at Oberlin? Yeah. It's it's a plumbing degree, but it's also a gender woman. It's like the, I the actually both. tried on multiple dates with, with gender studies girls to make the joke, uh, oh, gender studies, what is that, like gynecology? And oh, it gee. has bombed oh, so many times. Well, first of all, it's not a very funny joke. But Luckily for you, there'll vagina- be no- Vaginecology is hilarious. Vagina college. Is that what you just said? No, 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 no. I said oh, it was like yeah. gynecology. Oh, but calling it vagina college is, yeah. is really. Bad. That's what I heard. That would be funny, but that also not to funnier. these fucking. Not for that. Know. Yeah, the wrong crowd. That yeah. would be like a good like Ricky like Rickyism, yeah, 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 like yeah, a trailer yeah. park Malapropism. boys. Malapropism. There you uh, go. Malapropism. Propism. Yeah. Is that yeah, how you say it? Yeah. yeah. Well, what would you say wrong last week? There's some fucking word you don't know how to say. The machinist. Yeah, that was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking good movie. You should check it out. He's 110 pounds. No, I'm trying to look up this Lolita Express where rich celebrity... What if it was that they just go read Lolita on the plane? <laughs> it's a train. Yeah. yeah. I, just, <laughs> uh, I just want a quiet place to read. Yeah. No, they just love Nabokov. <laughs> it's a good book. I don't think I've read anything in... I was reading The Collector. You know that book? The Bone about- Collector, starring Angelina Jolie. Boom, boom. The, uh, he re- stops reading the novelization. Of the yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't Denzel in it? Denzel is in it, and he's playing like a paralyzed guy. <laughs> mm. And in the book, no, they're he's like... In, no, he's, he's, sorry, he's in bed. He's like in bed for some reason the whole time. Yeah, in the book, and they're like, yeah, Denzel is... They, they call him Denzel in the book. <laughs> yeah, the the Bone Collector is one of the shittiest movies I've ever seen. It's really bad. What's it about? Uh, just the guy that murders people. He doesn't collect the bones. Oh really? Yeah. No, there's no bone collection that happens whatsoever. <laughs> That's but what you're the, mad about. The well, the title "The People Killer" wouldn't sell, <laughs> so they had to change it to "The Bone Collector." But yeah, it's it's really dumb. It's a bad movie. Um, I don't know anything about. I was reading "The Collector," which is a book about a guy who just kidnaps a woman, and it's like 
really fucking weird man like he just like has this whole plan mm-hmm. he, he he kidnaps her he fucking takes weird pictures of her and it's like and at the end like spoiler guys if you're reading the collector like just nothing the girl dies and then like nothing bad happens to this guy and then you just like it ends with him being like, so anyway, I had my eye on a different girl in London. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just yeah. like, it's just like the shit. And it, that book is just like all those guys that make like sex dungeons and shit, uh-huh. and, like kidnap women. Like they, they like, say that's a after? huge, yeah. It's like, like that book has just done nothing but harm for the world. <laughs> and it's just like, it made me feel so fucking weird just reading it. It was fucked up, dude. Oh, and it's just, man. that's the last time I'll read anything, I think. Yeah, you like, sh- have you read uh, American Psycho? No, nah, I don't book have read shit, dude. The I book version of that is I had nightmares from it. It was really? so scary. Yeah, I haven't even seen the movie. It's pretty cool though. In the middle of it, it changes from first person to third person mm. as a stylistic choice. Interesting. Yeah, the listener at home is really gonna be eating this shit up. Yeah, yeah, we fucking. Did talk you find this sure. pedophile plane thing? Uh, no, no you're, you're just, just texting, texting your girlfriend, bitch. How dare you? I could be eating this sub right now. Yeah, he could be Jesus eating God. a sandwich. What? Hold Maybe on. How, how much time have we done on this? Maybe I'll take a fucking bite. We're almost bite. done. Shut the fuck up. Just keep talking. No, don't tell me what the fuck to do, bitch. I'm taking a bite of this sandwich. All uh, right. Okay, yeah. All aboard the Lolita Express. Flight logs. Review. This is why we need a producer. Mm. This is a good ass sub. Somebody could read this to us. Flight logs for Jeffrey Epstein's private plane dubbed the Lolita Express were mm. published for the first Welcome. time on Thursday... Yeah, it's a sex slave ring. <laughs> uh, alleged victim, Virginia Roberts. That's a good victim name. Yeah. Uh, says she was recruited as a slave when she was 15. Whoa. And she was forced to have sex with both Prince Andrew and Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz. <laughs> Harvard Law <laughs> Professor? What? Yeah. So, that's, that's why he couldn't be in L.A. for the O.J. trial. Yeah, yeah, because he, he was, was busy in, on, in, the, in the on the kid fuck plane. Speaking of kid fucking... I live across the hall from, from the, guy who fucks kids. the guy from the the kid fucker, the main bad guy from season one, True Detective. Oh. The guy Carcosa, yeah, dude, one of the most famous pedophiles from TV lives across the hall from me in my building. But wow, that's fucking. I cool. think the most yeah. famous pedophile from TV is Oscar the Grouch. Oh, oh I think that's we got a fart on Mike. Right? Yeah, you Oscar know that trash can is, is, is filled bad. with children, and all of their mouths are open. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! I'm busy. <laughs> he shuts the lid. That's what he's doing in there. That's why he's grouch because you interrupted him getting his uh, his green D asked <laughs> by a child. <laughs> yeah, by the fucking uh, extras that wander into the garbage can. Come on, folks. Um, so, uh, oh, yo, Cumboys are hosting a show. Oh yeah, on the fifteenth. Yeah, if you want to go. If you guys want to go <laughs> in bed style. show. Yeah, come through. Uh, we're going to try and have a guest next week. Um, this one was, you know, I feel like... This was it was great. actually not bad. It's not bad. But, uh, you know, we can't we can't do big guests every week. It was, like, hard to... We had to, to relax. We had to recoup. Yeah, I feel like Dude, shit. We prepared a lot for that interview. People, people uh, can tell. And as we can't give that effort I read every, every word of his Wikipedia My page. little Absolutely. sister, when I saw her at my dad's birthday, took me aside and said... That she thinks that we spoiled a really big opportunity for the podcast. <laughs> yeah, everyone says that. <laughs> Do you, uh, and my roommate said I had to turn it off. That was another <laughs> review that the critics of it. <laughs> the, the critics of it. What are they it, talking uh, about? That was a great interview. I yeah. thought it was hilarious. Personally, we should be on NPR. No, it was good. But, it wasn't hilarious. And I said this in the first hitting. half. Apparently, what people were most upset about was that after we hung up with him, we were all stoked. That yeah, we're dude. all excited about. We yeah, we just talked about having to, a good interview. That's what we we did. just talked to Daniel Cross, <laughs> the star of HBO's Veep. Yeah, people are so, such did. fucking idiots, dude. Um, yeah. Well, yo, what you know? I was thinking about is like, you don't hear about bronies much anymore. They had like a big <laughs> year in 2014. You don't. Did they just realize they were wrong? I went to BronyCon. I told you. Oh yeah, Eric. that's right. Yeah. When and my ex girlfriend Joyce, yeah, uh, oh, Joyce, back, who was back back also. Uh, <laughs> gong, <laughs> gong. Uh, I was listening to. I was listening to some like station. That was I think playing. I'm done, dude. I'm dating. I'm going out on a date with a Spanish girl tomorrow. So, you gonna marry? Not her? that that matters. Wow, that's pretty fucking racist of you, dude. Why? 
Is she one of those Spanish women that looks Chinese, though? Because <laughs> that happens sometimes. Oh, my God. That does God. happen sometimes. Does she it's have true. bangs and straight black hair? I was no, listening to she some, doesn't. I was listening to some radio station <laughs> that was playing free jazz the other day. And it was like, oh, yeah, yeah. but then I was just putting Chinese Trash. like words to it, <laughs> and it was really funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> but like with that free jazz like uh. cadence. For, um, anyway, BronyCon was weird as fuck, and there was this, there was this kid. There was a circle of kids that were just chanting and screaming, and like I didn't know what was going on in the middle of the circle. I sort of fought my way through it. They were in the middle. It was. Uh, just a boy with two My Little Pony stuffed animals that were just putting the private parts of them, like smushing them together, <gasps> oh, and just all these kids yes. are like cheering and just being like, <laughs> ah, ah! It was the one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in my entire life. And Holy this dude was like shit. purple. His face was purple from like that's, just that's being incredible, so dude. intensely like uh, I don't know, that like so just good having a n- natural hands free orgasm from it. Or Hell yes, whatever. Well, I think they all quit playing with those dolls. Yeah. What do they move on to? Pokemon Go. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Literally, yes. Yeah. 100%. I'm so happy I'm not playing that game. All of my adult- No one is anymore, right? No. I mean, no, people are doing it. Jamel's it. playing it. Really? Still? Yeah. Brandon's in the game. You can catch Brandon in the game. Yo! Yo! Brandon! Brandon Wardell! I can't wait till we have him on the pod and... Just really give it to him real heavy. Just shit on him to his fucking That'd stupid. That'd be so much fun. <laughs> wide face. <laughs> yeah, it's so big. His basketball sized head. Apple cheeked piece of shit. <laughs> he is such a fucking large head. <laughs> it is so big. His like head is like his dome is ridiculous. I tell him this all the time. When he wears hats, it looks very funny. Have you seen him wear a hat before? Yeah, it looks like fuck? you know, what like the fuck kind of question the, is that? It's on you know the very those, like, last baseball helmets that you'd get ice cream in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it looks like a normal person <laughs> wearing one of those. Like, <laughs> uh, shit. they pop on and off like Lego hats. <laughs> Bob the Builder ass mo fuck. <laughs> yeah. That was a pretty good sound effect, dude. Yeah, that was thanks, good. man. That was in the room, folks. That, that was the producer. Post. Yeah, that was the that's, producer. That's how you do that one. That's me popping pussy. That's pretty good. I'm actually opening for uh, what's his name. Michael Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, police winters, academy. winters, Mi- right? Michael, what the police academy guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking of police academy, huge DNC police academy shout out yesterday. Did you see Bill Clinton's speech? No. His speech was so long and rambling. In one section, he said, "And Hillary was mad at me for taking Chelsea out of school and watching all six police academy movies." Wait, really? Time. Yeah, I swear to Yo, God. Yo, police academy's good as hell. I swear to God. Yo, I love those movies. And Gutenberg probably got hell stoked about that. I love Goots, man. What the? I love the Gutenberg Goots. On the get him. That in should be here. the goal of the podcast: is get Gutenberg in the mix. I love uh, Gutenberg. I mean, he was I wanted, like, I wanted to get Tom a Sizemore. On. Guy. We get Tom Sizemore. Sizemore is the number one goal. He's no, funny. Tom Sizemore. No. Got arrested for beating his wife. Yeah, and, and that's why we can't get him on the podcast. Uh, so I tweeted. I tweeted. I was like, "My good friend Tom Sizemore wouldn't do this. These allegations are lies." And he favorited it. <laughs> Tom got back on fav- Twitter to favorite uh, my great. defense of him. Well, it's true. So Tom, if you're out there, you owe me one. Come on the pod. I was confused. Him and the guy, the Breaking Bad, the bald guy, uh, the, the cop guy. Oh no, Hank? Hank! What? How do you confuse How the those fuck two? Do you? I don't even know that actor yeah. from anything. <laughs> I don't know. I just Hank and them. Michael Chiklis. That's a confusing. That's thing. a confusing yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean I could see uh, confusing Sizemore and Madsen. Yes, I can Sizemore, see that. Madsen, Sizemore Rourke. is more like they're portly the, and short. I thought. Yeah, well, they're all in the same category. He's not short. I wouldn't say short. But him really? and Madsen, him and Madsen are like similar personalities. It's kind of like a weird sure. thing with like you know how like Gary Busey and Nick Nolte are easy right. to confuse, even right. though you know exactly who they are. Right. Or you know what I used to get all the time, Anne Frank and Helen Keller. Mm-hmm. No joke, me too. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know why. I think there's like one picture of them. Well, it's here's why. It's because one of them couldn't speak and one of them like just couldn't speak. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and that's the similarity. I Whoa, think. Holy fuck! That's a good. That's you, good. Man. That's your bit. That's yours. That's a good bit. Uh, thanks. Let's take that. To I the actually mics. used to do a bit about Helen Keller, and it's so funny that like. You know, uh, they like like women will be like, oh, they don't teach you about like women in history or whatever in school, mm. and it's like, 
Helen Keller was kind of the one that made me realize that because it's like, why the fuck do I know who Helen Keller is? Right, right, right. Like they teach you about all these men, and they're like, oh, and then there's this bitch who was like retarded or <laughs> yeah. something. I guess she's important. She was triple retarded. So, uh, this lady was on the dime. <laughs> she's on a dime that nobody uses, and then there's a retarded girl. So that's the women in history. And then this is the guy that invented peanut butter. So. Yeah, yeah, the one black guy we learned about. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> peanut butter black guy, retarded girl. Do you want to do and, that thing? Uh, oh, sorry. What's that? And then Einstein. Back to Einstein, who invented space, folks. That's mm-hmm. right. Uh, Before that, we just thought it was heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it funny? Albert Brooks' real name is Albert Einstein. Einstein. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he changed it? Yeah. Yeah. No joke. And his why brother- doesn't he just go by Albert Einstein? That's what I would do. Hell Albert yeah. B. Einstein. Like Michael B. Jordan. Jordan. Um, you want you guys want to go around the room and do that thing where we do a new bit that we're working on? <laughs> no, no, I no don't. we don't at all. I, I, all right, well, you did don't. that one time last week. And I we, did last week, and none of us wanted I to do it. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> but uh, tell you what, that's been an hour, folks. So we are done. That's right, our contractual well, obligation. Just, next week, I'll get to that bit. All like, right. Uh, remember, guys. subscribe, donate, download, oh, donate, yeah. donate, subscribe again, donate again. The fuck out of here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get hormones for Stav. I don't Almost, know I don't even know how to take that money out of the. Can I just we'll do, figure can it? Can I out. do this bit? Really? No, dude. Quick? It's over. All right, do your fucking bit. All right. Um, you don't understand. Uh, I love pussy so much. I love it so much. If they if they pull pussy in the can, motherfuckers be going to the store steal that shit. I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. You that's, don't understand. That's fucking good, man. I think someone's done that before. Uh, Bernie, feel the burn. Yeah. Feel the burn. <laughs> Bernie. Didn't somebody do? Those are some great memes where they took Bernie, Bernie Mac, Bernie jokes Mac, put jokes Bernie, with Sanders. Bernie Sanders. Do <laughs> <laughs> yourself a favor and Google that shit. That's that's what we're ending on. That's great. Yeah, yeah. that's All a right. recommendation. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, Bye gang. Give it a kiss on the phone.